Do you like chocolate? It's it's the best uh, you can have uh, when you have a stressful day. You know, it's good for the brain. Yeah, and it's uh, it's good. The sugar that goes directly to your brain. You can think better. You're think. much more creative. Think. Yeah. 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 Okay, I, I'll I try. Love chocolate. Do you want some? No, no, no. It's okay. I'm on a little bit of diet. I'm too fat. No. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Yeah. God, there's a me too. When you are in camera, yeah. you know the problem. You have five kilos more and um, I have to lose a little bit of weight I here. know what you mean. I've got it. Yeah, yeah you did yeah. a very great job in this movie. And, oh, thank um, you, darling. I think you have to go for an Oscar because um, you're <laughs> so uh, amazing in that role. So how much does the story of Eleanor personally mean to you? Um, I was really attached. I don't think I've been so attached to a part. Um, I really felt I had to do it. And then looking back on it, there's so many things that could have gone wrong um, and it might not have happened and so didn't happen many, many times um, that I sort of feel it's almost like her strength of character made this whole thing happen in the first place. She's really complex, but the one thing that re defined her was that she needed to be heard. And um, she was somebody, and likewise, she could see not only she had no voice, but all the people in, that were in the same hospital ward, those who were mentally ill and those who were disabled and they were just given medication without any consideration and without, and they had no say over what they were taking. So she was fighting for the rights of the mentally ill and the mentally disabled. And I, um, I, but also, so I feel that the film had to be made and it, ha and, and it would make her happy. I felt she was on my side um, um, and that she helped the film mm. get made. It now just has to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it will be. Yeah. And what is also amazing, I live in this area and uh, I recognize yeah. so many places. The university, you shot the Golden Gate Law School, was the university I uh, went for more than 20 years ago. And That's it's still funny. looking the same. Um, my China restaurant, which is just two kilometers far away from me, is this um, conversation in Chinatown. You should That's have right. shot there. Yeah, oh, it's, right. It's, it's, it's so cool. So how, how many um, memories did you have on this, about this area here around Cologne and this nice shooting locations? I had a lovely time in Cologne. It was just such a bizarre thing. We started off in San Francisco. We did four days in San Francisco. Then we all came back here and we were ended in Cologne. And we're going like, we're still in San Francisco. We're still in San Francisco. And um, we found, I said, how are we going to do it, Billy? This is just going to, this is, how can you shoot for six weeks outside too? You know, and pretending that we're in 1980s America. Like the church scene, that church. You could you could go like yeah this works this could be, um, this could be in San Francisco, or um, this could be in America. There were so many pieces that when you arrived actually on the location you go like yeah, it was um, it worked, and when I watched it I, I didn't think for one minute that, I could see the join between San Francisco Cologne, you know and it was completely absurd. We'd film all of that, like in San Francisco, and going up the hill. All the, thank God we did it. You see, I did actually. That was one thing that I insisted on that we shoot in San Francisco before we came here, because then we had a sense of place even in our heads. So then, when we came to the set, and we had these two tiny, the apartments, we knew where we were coming from. We were going up that hill, and then we also had the footage that we could remember too. But so we'd always just make sure that we were, you know we remembered we were in San Francisco before we walked out. I mean, it's, that's what we're paid to do is to imagine that we're in a different place, but it was just such a colossally different place. It was like, uh, than reality, it was bizarre, but it worked. It worked very well. And do you have maybe some good memories, um, maybe from your time off, uh, maybe in you have Cologne. a free day here in Cologne and see some things that you're impressed of or? Well, I loved, everyone was really friendly. I went shopping a lot. Uh, and I obviously went to the cathedral. And then I took the children walking. There was a really nice place where we walked by the lake. Um, and it's two years ago already. So, but um, no, we loved it. I, I really loved it. 
And do you learn a little bit of German? Nein. Some, some like? Pathetically not. I speak other languages, but I don't speak any German. I wish, because I love your compound words. Mm. Um, and I have some Austrian blood, but I don't have the, I, I don't have the language inside me, sadly.